The last new bit of material we want to look at is theorem 4.3, the third angles theorem. And what this theorem tells us is that if we have two triangles, and we know that two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of the other triangle. Then the third angles must also be congruent. And we will be proving this, but hopefully just looking at that makes sense to you. Let's dive into a couple of examples though. So in the picture below, I want you to name the congruent objects you see in the figure and to justify what why those objects would be congruent. Take a moment, pause the video if you need to, and resume ready when you're ready to see the solution. Okay. Hopefully, you are able to pull apart triangle LPO, which is this triangle right here. and triangle NQM, which is that triangle. Okay, we notice that triangle NPO, angle L is congruent to angle M. We also see that angle P is congruent to angle Q, and by the third angle theorem, which we just learned, we now can conclude that angle LOP is congruent to angle MNQ. Furthermore, we know that side LP is congruent to side QM. We also know that looking at side PO, we're given these two segments. We also have side QN, which is also composed of those two congruent segments. So by segment addition, we know that side PO is congruent to side QN. And then lastly, looking at side LO and side NO. Well, we know that LN is congruent to OM and that NO is congruent to NO because it's itself. Thus, LO, which is composed of this double dash mark and segment NO, must be congruent to side NM which is also composed of this double dash marks plus side NO, meaning that these sides are congruent. Thus, triangle LPO is congruent to triangle, and remember to make sure you match up the corresponding parts. So L corresponds with M, P corresponds with Q, and O corresponds with N. So LPO is congruent to triangle MQN. Hopefully you got that, hopefully made sense. With these kinds of figures in general, it does sometimes help to draw the triangle separately and you can get a better idea of what's happening. Okay, for the next example, this one might be a little bit easier, maybe not but I want you to find the values of x and y. So take a moment, work this through. When you're ready, resume watching the videos to see the solutions.